Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. And join our Facebook group, Discovering Newfoundland. Good afternoon from Heart's Content, Newfoundland. We're at the start of the Trinity South Duberville Trail. It touches seven communities and it's about 20 kilometers. Yeah, we're going to do the first stretch here. It starts at the Heart Content Lighthouse. Very easy to find. Uh, we're not sure how far we'll make it in today. I'm sure we won't make it to all seven communities or all 20 kilometers, but uh, come on along. Let's uh, have some fun. We're not too far from the lighthouse and already it's beautiful. So far, there's a mostly boardwalk, and it looks like it continues on and around the corner. But look at that view. Isn't that beautiful? Once you get off the boardwalk, the trail is uh, pretty grown in. It is spring, and we just walked through a section that was really muddy, really grown in. And we just came to this part of the trail. Once you get out of that, and it's pretty uh, neat. The, Moss is growing on the trail. We've come to a fork in the road. One's a lookout and one's our regular trail. So we're going to try the lookout first and then we'll continue on. It was a bit of a trek getting into the lookout site, but wow, what a view. Although it's beautiful out here, most of it's been overgrown. Um, besides the lookout, it's been all forested area. And now we're on another boardwalk, so we'll see what is in store for us ahead. So far there's not a lot of lookout points, so if you do come across one, you need to stop and uh, take in the view. The trees in here, in this part, aren't very big, are they? No, they're like miniature trees. It's kind of different, it's just one section that's like that, yeah. all along here. Just to give you a sense how far we've been traveling, we went down those stairs a while ago. We came out of the forest and it looks like maybe we're halfway through and look how it has opened up. It still is a little rugged here, but it's a much easier walk than through the forest as a being spring and so wet in there. It's a little more dry here, easier to walk in. That is the area that we just came from, and here's where we're going. Along this open path, it really changes. We had flat land, and now we've got this little forest of trees. Looks like we're getting close to, to uh, New Perlican, Helen. I think that's where this part of the trail ends. That's where we're heading. Looks like there's a lookout up there. We made it to the lookout, but it doesn't look like winter's been too kind to these stairs here. Here's the view for the direction we're going. Absolutely beautiful. Once the forest opened up, we had more coastal views. It's just beautiful up here. Yeah, we're up on the lookout right now. We'll show you how you can, you can see left to right. It's just absolutely beautiful. So now it doesn't look like we're too far from the end of this leg of the trail. There's the town of New Parlican. Uh, that's where we'll be ending today and then heading back. Someone's put a bird nest up on the tree. Looks like it's been well used. We just veered off the path a little bit and uh, because we were drawn to this red carpet and look at the drop off. Woo, it's a long way down. I don't want to get too <laughs> close there. I don't know where the... the drop ends? Is. Yeah. <laughs> Walking in this little area here, there's a lot of it like that. It's really spongy. It's almost like walking on little trampolines. Just came across a moose print on the trail. This bench has a pretty view and it looks like the path is getting closer to the ocean. So let's go see. So we come to a fork in the road. There's no sign saying uh, which is which, but we believe this way is the way out and this way looks like it goes towards the ocean a little more so we're gonna to go to here first to check it out. This leg of the trail has really given us a lot more to see. Beautiful views of the coastline and we have another lookout. 
Very nice down here at the lookout. Oh wow, that's pretty phenomenal. I love the carpet of red and gold. Just lovely. That's the trail we just came down. Absolutely beautiful down here. Look at that. It's pretty nice down here. I'm glad that we took this little path off to check it out. It's gorgeous. Helen was just making a comment about what the white stuff is all over the rocks. Yeah, I think there's ribbons and forks going through those rocks. Amazing. There's a little bit of green within the quartz. I wonder what that is. Yeah, the eagle. Man, I'm glad we decided to come down this path. Just beautiful. Look, hon, we hit the mother load. Yeah, there's quartz all through these rocks. It's really amazing. Yes, it is. Just beautiful. I have to go and take a closer look. So I was talking about how spongy the uh, ground is. Well, as you can see, it's actually given way. There is rock underneath, but that's what we're talking about. When you're on the edge and you don't know where it ends, that could actually potentially happen. Yeah. So when you're out hiking, just if you're going to veer off the path, just be careful. This little bog here, we've crossed it once coming in. Now we got to go back out. Wish us luck. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of the trail is wet, it is spring, but not only are you trying to navigate your way through the water, but a lot of the areas you're bending down because of the overgrowth, so you're trying to keep your head out of the branches. It's quite a workout. We're getting yeah. our workout today. It's a good workout. This trail was quite overgrown in quite a few places, most of it actually. Um, it's quite rugged. But if you love the serenity of the forest, this might be the hike for you. We walked about nine kilometers in and out. Yeah, it was, it was a good hike. It was a good workout. Uh, now we're going to go into Heart's Content and uh, check out the town. And it looked really lovely while we were driving through. So we'll show you some photos and videos of that. We were walking around, we seen all these gravestones in a field and we were wondering what happened, but we came across this sign. This is the first Atlantic Telegraph cable. I must say, Heart's Content is a beautiful little community. Definitely worth coming and exploring. We're just down at the beach doing a little beach combing, finding some sea glass, which we found quite a bit actually, and some pottery. Yeah, we found some nice blue pottery, yellow pottery, lots of sea glass, short amount of time. It's good. Yeah, we're having fun. Yeah. 